What's up, Internet? This is our spoiler chat. Full spoilers for the entire season of Jupiter's Legacy on Netflix. My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarice. We get Nerdy Nightly. And we thought we'd share it with you. Yeah. That is right. Welcome back. If you did not watch our non-spoiler review and you want to know our general thoughts, go watch it. Or, we'll say right now, we were not super huge fans of this. No. And I just want to get right into the spoilers. Why not, Clarus? Why not? Wow. There are so many reasons. I mean, the first, the first, like, biggest problem for me is honestly, and I said this in the non-spoiler, that the backstory origin, like, flashback was way more interesting than what was happening in the present. Yeah. And so I didn't care about anybody. I did not care about any of the characters. There was one character that I liked, and guess who it was? Freaking Walt. Of course. Literally, I called it, I called it from, like, episode one. I was like, oh, I like Walt. I think he's going to be the bad guy. <laughs> like, I, I literally, I was like, yeah, yeah, he's, I think he's going to be the bad guy. Yeah. And, and, and then he was, but that didn't quite make sense. So we'll, we'll get it there. Is, <laughs> yeah, we'll get well, there. that's Let's, the end of the season. Yeah. Um, it's hard to even remember where this show starts, but it starts with the killing of Black Star, this villain that we, we, we meet on the television. And it is the mm -hmm. inciting incident of this show. Um, mm -hmm. Paragon, the son of the Utopian, kills Black Star in a fight that kills Tectonic and two other people. Flaming Fists. Flaming Fists Man and, and um, the girl, lady. the girl, that one girl. Uh, like, uh, teleporty lady. Yeah, but but different from the other, oh, yeah, the, the straight up teleporty lady and not the zoom zoom teleporty lady. This show Everyone's has powers are very so good. many characters and I don't know anything about any of them. No. Like, and, and, and you don't care about they them. They keep talking about the union. I'm like, what is the union? Who's in the union? Who's what in the does union? it do? What is There's a point function? later in the show where one character goes, of the majors, and I was like, is the majors a thing I'm supposed to know about? How many people are in the union? Are there tiers? Are there teams? People are on patrol? Patrolling what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> the whole the whole show revolves around how... The, the main question at the, of the show is this code that the Utopian has. Mm -hmm. We don't kill, we don't lead, we inspire. Yeah. Which is a terrible code. It's absolutely trash. And we'll what? get into why very okay. soon. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm so sorry, but like, I'm, you're telling me in 90 years, in 90 full years of superheroing, no one has ever died at the hands of a superhero until now? You're telling me in the entire history of the Union, no. this is the first time a superhero has killed somebody? Nobody's saying that it's the first time, but it's just like a big no-no. Okay, but there's there's no like, do you remember when this person killed someone and we let them stay in the Union? Like, yeah. at no point in the entire history, you're telling me that these people are fighting supervillains for 90 years. Yeah. And no supervillain has just died of their wounds, has died of, like, has died six days later in the hospital. Like, there's no... This world, the world wants us to believe that they've been superheroing for 90 years, yep. but there's no, it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. It doesn't feel like they know it's, what they're doing at any point in the show. Yeah, and they don't really have a relationship with the country. It's oh, kind of I wanted like, to get into that so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, I mean, they, well, it looks like they kind of have a relationship with the police, kind of, you know, they, they know what's up yeah, and mm -hmm. they, they do their thing. But um, as far as, like, what the Union means to America, yeah. we literally never find out. Because we don't meet anyone no. who isn't a superhero. No. We occasionally have, like, um, Chloe's agent is upset with her. The cop, um, we meet one cop when Lady Liberty shows up to that warehouse scene. Yeah. Who is like, yeah, do whatever you, like, yeah, I'm going to listen to Lady Liberty. Yeah. This show is so uninterested in human beings that it never introduces us to any of them in the present. Literally, there are no just human characters. They're all superheroes. And so you're just hearing, yeah, you hear the utopian throw out this phrase over and over and over again that 78% of Americans think that supervillains, that superheroes should be allowed to kill supervillains in combat. But you never actually meet anyone to represent that. And this show is so uninterested in having a conversation with its, uh, with its actual topic. Yeah. It wants to have its superheroes talk about the idea of the topic of the show, yeah. but it never wants to actually get into the topic yeah, of the exactly. show. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. 
And that's why I was really disappointed because I think it actually touched on really interesting ideas. Mm -hmm. 100%. Like, you know, the idea of like, yeah, should superheroes, like, should they be able to, like, what is the line to be able to kill, to be able to take a life, you know? And for the utopian, that line is never. You, you never do that. There is always another way, which... It's insane. It's... It's insane. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's insane. Yeah. You're dealing with supervillains. And, like, this is the problem I have with the end of Man of Steel, right? Everyone complains that Superman kills Zod. And Superman kills Zod to stop five people from dying. And I am fine with Superman killing one person who is very, very guilty from, from, to save the life of a child. Yeah. I'm I am not ever going to be like, why did Superman save that kid? Yeah. You know what well, I mean? That's just... <laughs> and it makes you wonder, like, how many people have died because this is the rule. Guess and what? The show will never answer that question. Well, Literally, no one in the show ever asked... That is... But that is the basic but idea. But that's... Yeah, that's the And the show never stuff. gets into it. And the, the... Yeah, the show does not actually dive into any of the themes and problems that it introduces. It has really interesting ideas. Mm -hmm. It You know, it, it has... Like, those roots are there, which is why I think it was so disappointing when it, you weren't fulfilled it like we we said this in the non-spoiler chat it felt like eight hours of prologue yeah because and, nothing and happens meandering preamble the the my favorite character in batman batman v superman the Zack snyder movie is holly hunter senator character because i feel yeah. like Zack snyder crafted a human being mm -hmm. who has problems with superheroes in a truly legitimate way mm -hmm. where she's not saying they shouldn't exist, but she's saying, hey, we need we need to have a conversation about that. Yes. And she brings up, she brings up data. She, like, she is the, an she's anti-Superman, but only to a point. And I, I thought that what Zack Snyder did with that character was fascinating and I loved her and I, I'm, you know, I'm sad she dies in that scene, but this show needed that character so, not that, not Holly Hunter, but, but a somebody. character in that role so badly to play counterpoint to the utopian's idea mm -hmm. because they never allow any character to have an actual conversation about the code. It's yeah. always talking points. And it just, it's so grating eight episodes in to be like, just have just talk about somebody. It. Just say, like yeah. everybody talks around it and they're yeah. like, but the world is changing. The world's not what it was 90 years ago. And that's all that we know. The but world is not what it didn't was. Participate in World War II. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like they literally bring that up. They're like, I wish we had so done casual. more in World War I wish War II. we'd stopped Auschwitz. And I'm like, yeah, why didn't you? Please explain to me why you didn't stop Auschwitz. Like, if you're gonna bring it up, if you're gonna pretend that in your universe everything has happened the exact same way, except 9-11, which they don't bring up because that would be complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, why understand. don't, why didn't you? And why yeah. doesn't the show Because here's the thing, they could get into it. Like, the depression happened. Mm -hmm. But as far as we know, like, World War II could have not happened. And you would have just not thought about it. Because there were literal superheroes. Well, but that's the thing. You would have just not thought about it. Yeah. And it would have been fine. But the fact that they bring it up, and they're like, yeah, we didn't do anything about it. Damn, that sucks. You're like... Because we had to help America. I'm like, what? I'm like, you guys <laughs> Ugh. You're the worst. This, and this is what I mean. This is what I mean when I say I did not like anybody except for Walt. Walt, I thought, was an actual interesting person, which is why I'm like, oh, he's a villain because... But is he, he or is he right? Because honestly, if he was like... He's their villain. He, if, if, if Walt comes to start season two with, I think that the Union of Justice should reach out and stop international issues, I would be like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, here's, oh, the, sure. thing. here's like, the thing. There are interesting questions in that because, sure, if that's what you want to do, great. But there's so much conversation to be had about how that happens because right now you have a whole bunch of superheroes that are all American. And they're maybe all biased. This show literally does not get into that. Well, no, the, the ones that we know. The show never answers that question. The well, ones but, that we know. But we also don't know how people get their powers in this world. Yeah, no Like, idea. the weirdest thing about the show is that it introduces the idea that these six individuals went through this gauntlet and they got powers from it. And then their children have powers. And then other I people randomly have powers. Yeah. Like, where did Nick in time? Nick in, Nick in time? Nick of Nick, Nick the time? Nick of time. I really love Chloe punching him through the wall. That was awesome. But. Yeah. But, like, how did he get his powers? How did Popsicle get his powers? Like, who are these people? Why do they have powers? Why did... How did Ghost Light get her powers? Like... Ghost Beam... Ghost Beam? Oh, is that what it is? Might be someone's kid? I don't think no, so. No, They were be, right? friends in high school. Like, I, I don't know. And that's the thing. We never know. We never find out. 
<laughs> but it feels like the show might tell us eventually. But it, God, like, it's like, get to it. Yeah. I, Literally, just they, get to it. I don't care to wait around for it. Like, yeah. you need to, if you're going to give me a season of television, you have to give me enough information and enough of a payoff to then watch season two. And like I said in the announce below chat, this feels like the kind of not as good season two to a show. It doesn't feel like that to me though, because it's about nothing. Like this is this feels like no, a, I mean in the this fact, feels like a prologue episode that someone stretched from forty minutes to eight hours. The reason it feels like season two is because it feels like they talk about so many things, and there's so many things that are not explained. Mm -hmm. It feels like. They, we should have like, met them already. Yeah. It should have come up. So, like, it feels like we're missing a season one. Like, it literally feels like we are missing something. And it sucks because the idea of this story is so interesting to me. Like I said, the origin story, very interesting. Um, some of the stuff's kind of cheesy, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you deal with it. But I I really enjoyed all the flashback stuff, you know, um, to the... Uh, I, it, not all of it. I like the it. idea of the flashback stuff. But, but I like, feel like you could have literally sunk the entire flashback like stuff. Half. You you could have made it one episode. Uh, yeah. You literally could have made an ep like you could have made the third episode of this. Everything that happens in the past. Yeah, like the weird thing with like him, he's like, oh my god, he, it's his dad's funeral, and then he kind of has a seizure and goes nuts, and then. And then he's not nuts, and then he goes back to being nuts, and then seeing his dad, and it's just like. And then like he draws don't... a windmill, which makes him walk to Kansas from, from New, New York, York, I question think, mark? which I... is days. And then he manages to get to the town where a, a little girl finds the picture, tells him where the windmill is, and like you can tell me, like, well, that's just because it's fate, right? He was fated, and I'm like, if it's fated, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Get through it. And, like, get to the farmhouse scene. The farmhouse scene with Red from that 70s show is fantastic. <laughs> he's, that's always who he's going to be. Yeah. He's, that he was so iconic in that role when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I can never look at him and not see Red. Well, but here's the thing. As, you know, that and scene... And he's great in that scene. That, that scene that is scene was, one of my favorite scenes of the whole show. That scene was fantastic. Yeah. Could have been half the length. And <laughs> yeah, still would have been great. Still would have been great. But it could have been... Like, the, the, the flashbacks are literally about nothing because they happened 90 years ago. Yeah, and none of it matters to present day. Literally none of it. Yeah. It's just like showing you a thing. And it's not usually... So I, I, when I think about a, episodes that are like half flashback, half present, I like to think of Arrow. Because I think that what Arrow on the CW as a superhero show did mm -hmm. really well was that it showed all of our learning a, a lesson in the past yeah. and how it applied to this current storyline. Yeah. And the problem with this show is that the past and the present storylines are never thematically attached to each other. No. And they have nothing to do with each other. They no. are just random events that happen in two separate chronological orders. And it, it, it makes you think that the utopian is the main character of this show. But the utopian is so boring. Yeah. And his point of view is like, so cold. flawed. Yeah. And... The only interesting things happening in the present are the scenes that the Utopian has nothing to do with. Because, mm -hmm. like, the relationship between him and his wife does not grow or change. They start the season not talking about stuff and being kind of pissy with each other. They end the season still not talking about stuff and being kind of pissy with each other. I mean, at other. least, like, she tries. She's like, let's talk. And you're like, ah. Like, Great. like, dude, just shut up. <laughs> Great. I really expected her to have her blow-up moment, and she, like, almost does it, and then I was like, Eh. She was so close, and I was like, yeah, girl, get it. And oh, does it, and I was like, wow, okay. Um, so it all comes back to this question of, like, should superheroes kill when they're in a combat where people are being killed? And... Yes. The, the show the show wants us to believe that the code is the right thing, which makes me think that... Like, I don't know if this is supposed to be some very, very weird Christian allegory, but it feels, like, overly Christian to me. <laughs> Hmm, okay. In a way that I'm like, I get it. Thou shalt not kill. It's in the Bible. Yeah, life is sacred. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. But like, but like, you are you are you're really telling me that you're gonna go so hard on your son for saving your life after three superheroes died? Like, what? Yeah. What? Like, what, what? Like, okay, okay. Alter alternate universe. Your son doesn't kill Black Star in that moment. He kills you. He kills your wife. He kills your son. He kills everybody. He destroys Manhattan. He goes on to destroy Chicago. He enslaves the rest of the human race. Like, at what point, at what point in that okay? alternate universe do you go, oh, yeah, maybe my son did do the right thing? Yeah. Yeah, like, he's just so stubborn yeah. that he's annoying. I'm like, ugh, you're just, you're that old white man. 
like literally like i just i you <laughs> yeah. I, I i keep hearing the same things over and over again and you and you know they they do talk that about his flaws like he doesn't listen and whatever <laughs> But it just, it's a but, whole season. Yeah. You gotta give us something. You gotta give us some change, some shift, some, anything, literally anything to grab onto. Cause it was, it was, it was tough. It was boring. Like, yeah. and it's, like I said, the idea of it is really interesting. And, and Josh Daniels' performance funny. is great. Yeah. He, especially in the therapy scene with the super villain. Yeah, that was weird. Hey, but in that maybe scene, don't tell your secrets to someone who might break out and use them to destroy you. Yeah, but even in that scene, you know, like, the villain is like, okay, he's like, you do a similar line of work to, like, police officers, and police yeah, yeah. officers are allowed to use, like, are, you know, if, if their life or the life of civilians is in danger, you can shoot and to And look, kill. we, I, look, I want to be clear, we are in a very important public conversation about that right now. Totally. There is a very, there's a very valid conversation going on at the moment because of the, 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 I, I, I'm trying to think the, the, the atrocities that have yes, happened. The atrocities and, and the abundance of the, the the manner in which those atrocities have disproportionately affected people of color. Totally. And I want to be very clear that I'm not saying that police officers should be killing willy nilly. I'm not saying no, no, that no, there no. there should be like some. I'm not saying that like we should just do away with due process towards police officers. I'm saying that. Th the union has to have a due process system to mm -hmm. justify when it is right for a superhero to have taken a life. And if mm -hmm. a superhero has done it wrongly, I agree. If a superhero overuses force, I agree. But in a situation where three superheroes have already died, yeah. the idea that ending that with more death is so appalling and preposterous is is just a, is laughable to me. Yeah. It's absolutely laughable. If my father had come to me in that moment and been like, you broke the code, I'd be like, get out of my face. Get out of my life. Go go find some priorities and realize that you doing good is, is preposterous. You are, you're, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I lost so much respect for the utopian immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately. I at, And at no point did I get it back. And I thought that Joshua committed to that performance and it was totally. strong and like, he's great. But I don't think the Utopian is a good person at all. I think that he is a failure. And I think that every single superhero that we watch die in the show is his fault. And so there's no point where I'm like, yeah, Walt's a villain. I'm like, no, Walt should be in charge. Anyone, anybody else should be in charge except okay. that very flawed man. Okay, except, ex here's the thing. That is an interesting story. And like I said, I like Walt. And then he just randomly kills his daughter. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that that is where it crosses a line. And I you're like, wait, hey, what? Like, I'm sorry. You, 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 you I, that that did not make any sense. No, you're, you're right. And I take that back. Walt shouldn't be in charge because he's a murderer. Um, I'm saying that like... But everything before that point, I was like, okay, I, I, sure. Like, here's the thing. The last episode didn't make sense in so many ways. Mm -hmm. it, one being that he kills his daughter, he really has no reason to. Like, Well, she knows the secret. She knows that he's the villain. Yeah. And she she's extorting him. She doesn't care. Like, but she says $50 million or I tell people. And he says, well, then you're going to tell someone eventually because someone will pay you more. $50 million is not that much money to... Yeah, I guess. Certain people. I to know. us, it's... More than we'll ever. Sure, I guess. <laughs> if we ever have a million dollars, can you imagine? Yeah, that. What be... would it like to not have student loans? No idea. Couldn't tell you. Um. So yeah. So he kills his own daughter. Sorry, which what are we talking about? Wild. The um, the the other thing that does not make any sense mm -hmm. is how Walt is the villain. I mean, so 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 they go into Black Star's mind, mm -hmm. and Walt orchestrates that it's uh. Fox, what's his Sky name? Fox. Sky Fox. And like has a pretend battle with himself for an audience of zero. Mm -hmm. Except us. And, and twice. He does that twice. He does that twice. He does that in the opening scene as well. He has a pretend battle with the dark with uh, um Dark Star or Black Star. Black Star. Black Star, yeah. He literally has two fights with his own creation. For no reason. Yeah, and you're like, I this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And you know, you're you're like, okay, but he thought like Lady Liberty would show up and whatever. Okay, maybe. maybe? Like, this I think is that the, so weird. The mind one is about his vitals changing, and so he wants the people on the outside to see that he's like getting his butt kicked. 
because they're watching his vitals, right? So I think that that might be, he's like literally affecting his own vitals so that it looks like he's getting attacked. Yeah, but couldn't he just like do that without... I don't, I don't know. I don't, it just I don't understand how his powers work at all. Me neither. Because sometimes he's like in a mind palace. Sometimes he's stopping people from moving. But sometimes here's he's. Here's the thing. We don't know how anybody's powers work. I loved in the last episode when they're when they're talking with Lady Liberty and they're like, "Can't you tell that I'm lying? Isn't that your whole power?" And I was, and like, I was like, "Is it? What is it? I don't know. We've never been told. This. We've never seen her to be a lie detector. Everybody can fly. Literally, everybody can fly." <laughs> Of the, of the of the people related to the original six, yes. We see supers who can't fly later, but they're the people who aren't related to the original six. Because Popsicle can't fly. Um, like, um, uh, George's son, uh, I don't know his name. Oh, what was his name? I don't remember his name I don't at know all. anyone's name There's in the show. There's too many characters and no one was interesting enough to I know Popsicle because, like, his name is easy to remember. Yeah, what's the Scarlet, the girl with the... Uh, Ruby? Ruby. That's, I was like, Scarlet? No. <laughs> like, she, I mean, might as well be. Her well, name's she, Ruby. Yeah. She can fly, but she's not, like, relate... Like, yeah. She might be someone's daughter. She might be the doctor's daughter. <laughs> the doctor's daughter. The doctor's daughter. Um, sorry. Different David Tennant's wife. Di- um, <laughs> yeah, that's weird. We're not going to go there. Um, yeah, it's not clear what everybody can do, and... It makes things so much less interesting to watch. Yeah, the show really needed to start everything. with an action sequence, not the not the Black Star action sequence, but an action sequence that involved all the superheroes Where you showing up to a place and doing yeah. their thing. Yeah, and we never get that. No. Like, I really don't know what Paragon's powers are. He's his dad, but he can't use heat vision yet. Maybe, maybe. But like, why would he get them late? Like, the show is so. And like their Random daughter, about it. their daughter also has all of his powers, I think. But mm-hmm. nobody has the mom. Well, unless they, the mom and him have the same powers. But then they said the whole like lying thing, and I yeah, don't... she's a lie detector. Chloe, Chloe is super powerful as well, but also a raging addict and a terrible person. Oh, awful! Yeah, like Chloe a sucks. terrible person. And like you're, she throws a car at that poor woman. Yeah, I'm like, I get that that woman wanted you to do your job, um, that you're probably getting paid a lot of money for. But yeah, sure, throw a car at her. You're so all oh, your life is so hard. I know, and and the, the bit that's a that was my my first big problem with the show is that the show set up that you wanted to really like not like but like like empathize with Chloe. You know, that's, that's, that's kind of what it felt like they were pushing for. Well, you know, it shows... The first scene we see at dinner, she's the worst. No, I mean, before that, when she's, oh, when she's a, a kid. kid. And, you know, mm. and, and, and they set it up. Here's the thing. They talk about how the utopian is such an absent father, but he shows up for them. But the only time we see him when they're kids, he's a very present father. Yeah, he's there yeah. and he does a great job of like calming down the situation and explaining why what she did was wrong and how we're going to do better next time and let's go get some ice cream. He's stern but forgiving. Exactly. He's like an... He shows up immediately after the situation. They don't go to ice cream because someone's dying, but... Yeah, he goes to save some lives. I'm sure she got ice cream like 40 minutes later. Like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they never... they, They do not show him being a bad dad no and you're supposed to yeah. believe that he's a terrible absent father and we because you don't he get doesn't that. murder people yeah and, and you yeah. never get that and that's why like chloe like chloe is such an unlikable character oh she's the worst like i feel like they wanted her to be like a misunderstood you know addict someone who is like battling struggling with herself but that's not what it feels like at all like yeah. they went way off the rails. The other thing that was weird about that was they wanted to like pit her as the anti-union person. Yeah. Not anti-union in a real sense. Obviously, uh, I am a union member, so I'm pro-union in real life. But uh, anti-union of justice person. Yeah. But then she's fully doing cocaine in the stri- er, in the club yeah. publicly, yeah. and I'm like, the last time we saw characters in the club, people were taking photos of them constantly. Are are you really telling me that Ruby thinks she's gonna get away with doing cocaine in public? Ruby, you mean um. Chloe? No, Ruby is doing cocaine on the table at Ghost Beam's oh, party. Oh, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and so right. I was like, wait, what is... So do these people not live by the code? Like, does this not matter? And if it doesn't matter to them here, why would it matter to them in the yeah. field? Like, they like, are wh- celebrities. No one has secret identities. Yeah, but, like, how how does it work exactly that they're very much living in a way that Utopian is not okay with fully publicly? Mm-hmm. 
and it's not getting back to him. Yeah. Like, I just, the show was so uninterested in explaining how the world worked that I, I just don't yeah. get it. Like, I just, I fully don't get it. The world does not make sense. Nothing adds up. We also never found out what that substance was. Oh, the blue, yeah, the blue drug. Stuff? No idea. No idea. We never, we we never found out. Like we never find out when the utopian and his wife got together in the past. No, nope, never find Although, out. Although that would happen thirty years after they got powers, because they said they're it, they got powers ninety years ago, and they're mm-hmm. they've been together for sixty years. Yeah. So they were superheroes together for thirty years, and then we're like, let's together. make a go of it. All right, cool. Um, we we the the uh, the the, the druggy from uh, Jessica Jones. Um, Malcolm from Jessica Jones. Malcolm. Oh my god, um, I forgot. I did not realize. I, I don't know his name. Uh, Sky Fox's son. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. His character's whole arc is to build a weapon that can fi- that can kill Utopian, but is also a device that can find Sky Fox, yeah, I guess. His goal, his goal is to find his father. But it seems like he's building a weapon the entire time. What doesn't make sense is he's <clears> like, <throat> my goal is to find my father. And mm-hmm. so, in order to do that, I'm going to get a weapon that can punch through anything. Maybe his dad's in another dimension? Maybe. He needs to, like, pull a Superboy Prime and punch through the dimensions? I don't know. It, it literally makes no sense. Again, nothing makes out there. sense. Um, and the yeah. more I talk about it, the more I'm like, who? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I also, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just have so many questions. Like, yeah. I literally just have so many questions. What happened for 90 years? Who are all these supervillains that you're talking about? Where what did are, they come from? What are supervillain groups? <laughs> Which they keep bringing up. They're like, all the supervillain groups are riled up. And I'm like, what does like, that what mean? What groups? Like, they are, like, the mob now? They speak about supervillain groups the way that Fox News speaks about, like, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Where you're like, are they villains? What I, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I what? literally don't know. I don't Seems know like anything. you have a skewed perspective. I don't know. I was so I was so baffled by the entire thing. Like, there, there's there's entire scenes where nothing happens. Characters are just there's there's entire scenes when um, Sheldon is crazy, where yeah, crazy, where he's having visions and seeing his dead father. Yeah, where he just is like wandering and the camera's unfocused, and you're like, I, I don't. All right, can we can we get to something? Yeah. Um, he's engaged to a woman who is truly. I'm not saying that we should ever cut a woman out of a show, but, like, what an... She did not need to be there because she served no purpose. <laughs> what a pointless part she had. Well, and, yeah. And she was great. The actress, great. But, like... But her <laughs> only function was literally to be the hot wife? She didn't even do that. Well, no. She was, like, a pretty-looking girl in the scenes, and that's it. That was but her But she whole wasn't character. that. Like, she... The, 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 she never functioned as that. She never functioned as anything yeah she didn't do anything like literally did not have at no point where at no point did they explain why sheldon and her are getting married that we never see their relationship no we never see like them breaking up is the only interesting thing that happens but you don't care about the relationship because the show does not give it any time yeah they don't establish it you could have just cut that like it was so unimportant the wedding that was coming up in like weeks but like it was just unimportant to everything that was happening yeah. And then she's like, was I in your vision? And he's like, no. And she's like, well, then I'm out. And I'm like, why? So you weren't in the, you weren't in the, at the table with six people who like, how fragile was your relationship? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> that him literally there, losing girl. his mind. No, get out of there, guy. If you are in a relationship with someone, if you are in a relationship that you are saying you're committing to, that you're going to get married to someone and they are so, they, they cannot handle that you have a psychotic breakdown and you don't see them in your visions and they're like, well, that's my line. You're, you shouldn't be married to that person. You just shouldn't. Yeah. Cause then, cause then what you're saying is that, cause she never buys into the fact that his visions are real, but they certainly are in that moment. Yeah. She never believes them. Yeah. No, but in that right. moment, she's like, well, if you didn't see me in your vision, we I'm can't out. have a future together. I'm so out. I'm out. Yeah. Maybe it's just an excuse. Maybe she's like, oh, dear God, I can't handle this anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I be honest? I think my biggest problem with this show is that it's like people is, for the most part, white people whining about how hard their lives are when their lives aren't hard at all. Yeah. Like it literally is the most white privilege you could ever get like oh my god i'm a superhero and there's no consequences for my actions and life is so difficult and i'm like i and like the one the one 
Well, and then the one, like, POC, like, superhero that they had from the beginning, he's just, like, put in a wheelchair and is kind of, like, a sideline. He any... literally, he literally is the man in chair. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, okay. Also, super interesting character who I know nothing about. Yeah, like, give us, yeah. How did he get hurt? You'll find out in season seven at maybe, this rate. Maybe, maybe. At, at this rate, you'll, we'll have that flashback when, uh. <laughs> when we get to the 1960s. Yeah. Maybe. I don't I don't know when he got yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's hurt, but he still has powers. And like like you said, the show tried to like be like, gotcha, twice with the oh, kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like they, like they use the race thing as like a, gotcha, you weren't expecting that to be their kid because they're a different race. And you're <laughs> yes. like, okay. They do it with George's son. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm from Jessica Jones. And, then and they do it Walt's with um, Walt's asian daughter yeah and you're like oh, okay yeah the first time i didn't mind it i was like all right i get it yeah we didn't expect him to be his son because he it's, doesn't look like right. him Fine. but but then the second time they did the exact same thing i think it was the next episode i was like no i don't know is, if it was, maybe, maybe it was two maybe episodes it was later next, i don't remember but i was like are we really but do, i was like oh i've seen this does before. everyone except the utopian have a mixed race child yeah is there is there some weird thing in this universe where all of these superheroes and it's going to be our, is, it, it, which isn't weird. There's nothing wrong with interracial no, children. No, but they made the, it weird. It's the show using it as a like, huh? Gotcha. And I was like, yeah, I, I guess you got me twice, but it's, it's, you know that it's the Perry the Platypus or it's the, 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 um, it's the sound from, um, Phineas and Ferb of the doctor when he's like, um, if I had a nickel for every time this happened. I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah. It, it was that moment where I was like, you went you went to that storytelling beat twice? Again. Yeah, it just felt weird. <laughs> hey, guess what? The white guy's got an Asian daughter. Okay. Okay. That's fine. You didn't have to make it weird. It's, like, <laughs> yeah. just let it be, like, yeah. It's so odd. It's, and, and like, they, the, the, the real problem with it is in the conversation, it comes up in a way that it just wouldn't come up. They're like, oh yes, my daughter. Yeah. And you're like, but that's what I mean. They what? make it weird. Yeah. They make it weird. It's like they didn't know how to introduce this without being. God, yeah. It's like it's like when you have something to tell your friend and you're trying to get them to, like, a, like ask about it. Like they're tr they're trying to. I don't know. I don't know. They want you to have a reaction to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. And, and it just it felt kind of. Cringy. And you can, I think you can get away with it once, right? If you totally. had just done it with George's son or just done it with Walt's son, I, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. Or, or Walt's daughter, sorry. Yeah. It's the fact that they did it twice. Yeah. That's when and it And then I started weird. to be like, who else is, who else is going to be the mixed race child of someone in the show? Yeah. Yeah. And if, like, like I said, it would not be a thing if they did not make it a thing. hundred yeah. You don't need to make it a thing. It's like when you throw in like an LGBTQ character and you're like, this is the character. And it, like, they, they make it a thing. And you're like, just let them be like a human. I appreciated the popsicles, lady friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know anyone's name. I know, I'm sorry. But like, they were in like an episode and a half. Like, I don't care about them. I know. But I did appreciate them. <laughs> <laughs> the second time we meet them is just full on cunnilingus on the yeah. table. Um, and um, Malcolm pops in and is yeah. like, what's he's up? like, hey. <laughs> like, he has no shame whatsoever. And they're like, dude, what the hell? Well, and he's making it a joke that he's, like, interrupting them having sex. And I'm like, hey, dude, don't be a dick. Let them yeah. finish. Like, Yeah, let them finish. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like, truly. And, like, it's kind of a funny scene. And But I was like, but then, like, I, I appreciated that they were not, like, Oh, they're the. We're not gonna like zoom in on the fact that they're lesbians. They're just the lesbian couple that like. Yeah. And like we catch them in that moment, and it's never brought up again, and it's fine. In the fight sequence, they're not like, my lover. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. You don't need to make it a thing. But in that way, they didn't. The, I felt like that was a exactly. very natural. Like okay, yeah, they're they're two women having sex. Like great. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a thing, but for some reason the. Yeah. yeah anyways. Also, another question I have about the Union of Justice. Since, oh, all right. So, Since we're already half an hour There in. are a lot. Are we a half hour in? Oh my god, this is 35 minutes of us just complaining about this show. Um, there's six chairs at the table. Mm -hmm. Is there another room? What do you mean? Well, like, <laughs> there's more superheroes now. Mm -hmm. We know there's more than six people in the Union of Justice. Is there another place that they meet? Oh. All we see are is the med bay and... 
the I've been playing too many video games. The med bay and the uh, that one hall with six chairs. Do they not have meetings? Do, Maybe that room is symbolic. Do they have like a gymnasium where they get together? A like, gymnasium I, with bleachers? I don't know. I don't know either. Like, like because they, I don't know who's in the union. Keep going to this one room, and I'm like, this is a great room. It's really cool. But it never gets used. But yeah. yeah. Also, I love that the sh the the room has weird future technology, but the the show does not appear to have any futuristic technology in it. Well, that's not true. Uh, outside of that room and the supermax, like normal there's life like seems very normal. The rod. There's the no, thing no. To I'm punch saying that like through. I'm saying like oh, for humans. Like normal life seems completely normal outside of. The superheroes, right? Like, yeah. it seems like even the tractor thing that um, Utopian is playing that one scene is like a very normal modern day th the plow thing now. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's just weird to me that like there's this one room in this one building that has crazy future hologram tech, but the rest of the world is completely normal. Yeah. It's just weird. The show is so. I, it's I, baffling. I kind of want to read the comic because I want to. People say that this comic is landmark brilliant right it's 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 miller it's it's genius i i don't i don't see the i don't see the bones in this show of that mm -hmm. like i don't even see the like good version of this and i hate that but like because i people say that i like everything right i genuinely did not enjoy watching this because i'm conf i'm just confused and i i'm like okay so i have to wait a year maybe to get answers to maybe some of the questions, maybe I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I legitimately I don't know. It's it's a show. It's a show. It is a it's show. It's long. I uh, if you can't if you're watching it. this first, if you're like I'll just watch the spoiler chat. Maybe the spoilers don't matter that much. Just I I honestly there is watch so instead. much good content right now. Go play Resident Evil Village. Highly recommend it. I'm having a blast. Do something else with your time. Yeah. Yeah. Because the more I think about the show, the more I'm like, what was the point of any of the things I just watched? And I cannot come up with one. Couldn't tell you. Literally no I idea. like the costumes. I really like the design of the costumes. I love the Utopian's outfit. I think it's iconic. I think it's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love that it's the, like, deer from his dad's watch. Mm -hmm. I love, I like, a lot. Um, I don't like some of the gloves. I feel like a lot of the suits are really cool until, like, mid-forearm. Um, and then they change color for the gloves with a lot of different characters. And it's kind of bizarre. Like, just go to black or something neutral. But, like, sometimes they get, like, brighter around the, the hands, which is very, like, early 2000s looking in a way that I'm like, eh, it's not great. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, the design was good. But I also think that that's probably more from the comics. Like, I haven't oh, of read, course. but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's... That, they probably pulled from that. I, I at first did not like the way Black Star looked. Um, but I'm glad be, uh, because I thought that it was like, oh, for the CGI, like, just, just do, just don't do a rubber mask if it's just for action scenes. Um, but then when we got the conversation scenes with him later on, I'm actually really glad they went with the rubber mask. Um, because his eyes look really real. His mouth looks really real. And in the conversation with Walt, especially, I really appreciated that they went human in mask, gave the face some movement, gave the eyes a lot of life instead of seeing a CGI creature for that, mm -hmm. which I don't think their budget would have supported outside of action scenes. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually, uh, that I changed my mind huge on that throughout the show. Mm -hmm. uh, except for so I was like, really? And then by the end of the show, I was like, oh, I totally get it. The rubber mask was the absolute right way to go, especially when he has his glasses on. It's so, it was cute. Yeah. Yeah. We also never find out what he did that was so bad. Nope. Like, Black, yeah, we never find out what Black, why Black Star was in, there. Yeah, no idea. What did he do? Maybe no, we did in that one like news sequence where he's it's like on in the background. But is there anything else Maybe. we should talk about? We missed so many things, but like it's tough. It's so it's hard it's to tough. talk it's, about. It's eight hours. Eight and, hours. You know, um, I think we kind of covered <laughs> the majority of the points. Mm -hmm. I don't unfortunately have a lot of good things to say. And what I had, I thought I the actress all. I thought the, like, if you were to cut any, and I think this is why I really like the trailer, I think that if you took any scene out of this show, it's good. I think almost every scene on its own is good. And I think that the, like, the talent is there. I think that a lot of it is well directed. I think a lot of it is really, really beautifully shot. I think the actors do a really good job in the scenes. Mm -hmm. 
it is really just a problem of the big picture not focusing in on anything. Mm -hmm. And that big picture is so unfocused that despite the fact that there isn't a bad scene in the whole show to me, like there's no scene that I could point at and be like, well, that was a weak moment for that actor. It's Which is weird, right? Like usually like there's an actor that you're like, God, that character didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. I don't really feel that way. I liked the actors. I loved, loved the crew of the uh, Moroccan ship in the past. Mm. I th- the captain of that crew was really great. I, I loved um, the the scene in uh, when near the bilge pump. I thought was really good. Mm-hmm. Like there's so many individual scenes in the show that I was like, oh, this is fascinating character work. That's really juicy and fun. It's really just when you zoom out on the show that you're like, it's a lot of really good moments that don't stitch together to be anything. Yeah, it didn't tell a story well, um, even though everyone showed up for it. Yeah, and- it's weird. It's 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 a weird show. Mm-hmm. And, like, I really wish the present scenes had decided to be about whether or not it was right that Paragon killed someone or whether or not everyone should kill someone. Because those are different conversations that the show tries to have at the same time. And so the and scenes... neither of them get had. Neither of them really get had because they're both trying to be had. Because mm-hmm. whether or not Paragon did the right thing in the past or whether or not we should change the direction moving forward are different conversations that the show tries to use at the same time and what that does is it means that they use talking points from both versions against each other in a way that they don't really conflict and so the conversations become less interesting and less um stable and so one scene will have an interesting conversation about one topic and then the next scene will try to be the furthering of that conversation for the show, but it is just about a different topic. Mm-hmm. And so it gives the show this like, like a ship at sea, just kind of listlessly drifting. drifting back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where it is so much more interesting because it is so strange like i could talk about like like invincible i don't have a lot to say about invincible as a full season it's really good i like it it tells a succinct story i uh, there are episodes which is interesting there are individual scenes in the show invincible that i think are bad i think that there are moments in invincible that are just pointless and there's episodes that are filler and the but the overall story of that show is so strong that i'm like do it it's great it's worth it the payoffs are awesome the action is amazing. Like that Invincible is the big picture is so right that you totally forgive the little stuff. Mm -hmm. This show gets almost every single little thing right. And then it just whiffs on the big picture. And that is easier to talk about because I can be like, well, but like if you pull at it, the sweater just unravels on you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. I I don't think I loved individual scenes like you did. I, I thought some character, some actors did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. There was nobody that I was like, wow, I'm like blown away. Um, okay. I thought like I thought people were good, good showed up, did their job. Um, but Barnabas. Then, yeah. Why? What? What a character. Yeah, but other than that, like I um. Yeah, yeah, it just, it's it's kind of like a house of cards that as soon as we yeah. started recording, you just blew it over and it doesn't work, um, yeah. unfortunately. You, you know you know when I kind of got nervous that this wasn't going to be very interesting? When? The first time I watched the title sequence. In the very first episode. Because the song didn't feel like anything. I don't even remember it. It didn't have a theme. It didn't, it didn't set a tone. And the bland red silhouettes didn't, they weren't about anything. And I think oh, that... Oh, you mean the, the, yeah, okay. I, the, the theme, the, the title theme that played through yeah, uh, yeah, at the yeah. beginning of each episode. And I never skipped it because I watched it every time. Or I think I might have skipped it once, but yeah. I, I watched it over and over and I was trying to figure out like, why is this so generic? Mm-hmm. And I think it was because if you showed this to someone, this show to someone, and it was like, create a title theme for this. What else would you do? What what would you what would you focus on? Yeah. It's two periods. It's two. Th- th- there's no thematic connection between anything. There's no characters that really stand out because there's so many characters that no one gets enough time. Mm-hmm. I, I and the first time I watched it, I kind of went. I feel like somebody watched the show and tried to create a title for it, and 
did their best. Yeah. And, like, this kind of is what they got. Mm -hmm. And it's a fine... You get that it's a superhero show. But that's kind of it. And it is a superhero show, but that's kind of it. Although the superheroics aren't fantastic. Yeah. It is so hard. If you're going to make something now, you kind of have to compete with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier because we just watched that. Yeah, which looks so good. And this... You know, fell flat because they don't they don't have the budget, and I totally get that. But it, yeah. the, you know, it looks cheesy, especially when you compare yeah. so. some some of the special effects. Some of the spe- and weirdly, like some of the powers, we we need to wrap this up. This is forty five minutes. But sometimes some the, the powers look better in some scenes than others. Mm-hmm. The same powers, like the same character, will have some scenes where their powers look great, and some scenes where the CGI is like was rushed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is which happens, and I get that it happens. Um, it's just you know, you notice it. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Especially when, it, like, one scene looks good and the next scene doesn't. Yeah. 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 Yeah, weird. It, this, this was a weird experience. Thank you for coming on it. If you've gotten all the way through this video, I don't know how many people will do that. But this was uh, this was an interesting watch. I'm, I'm kind of glad I watched it in a weird way. Partially because okay. I'm a completionist. I must watch every superhero thing ever. I mean... You're going to try. I know you will. And I I'm working it. on it. I know. I'm a little bit behind on Supergirl. Oh. And The Flash. I can't watch these shows live in Canada. Right. It's so weird. Um, and I, I'm not going to pay to watch them. I'll just wait. Because they go on Netflix like seven days after the season's done. Yeah. So I'll binge watch all the CW stuff once it's on Netflix. But Yeah. Um, yeah. Until then, uh, we're going to be watching everything as it comes out. We are doing spoiler chats for The Bad Batch. Uh, Loki, when that comes out soon. Um, and uh, many more. I'm assuming Netflix will probably put out something every week until I die. So... There will be plenty of things to talk about here on our YouTube channel, or you can come back Monday morning for the Nightly Morning Show, streaming live on YouTube at 10 a.m. Eastern, or Thursday at 5 p.m., let's say, sure, uh, for a conversation with uh, Joni Brosos ah. on the second It's Just Video Games podcast. I'm really excited to talk with cosplayer, model, Twitch streamer, YouTuber, just internet persona. Uh, Joni Brosas, someone who I've known, uh, or not known, but been following online for years. Uh, and I'm really excited for that conversation to be public. Uh, I also personally stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash nerdy nightly. I'm over at twitch.tv slash polish You can follow us there for all the shenanigans. And as always, my name's Nerdy. And I'm Clevers. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye. <laughs>